hey YouTube, back when I was a broke college student, I spent way too much money on this white MacBook. Let's breathe some life back into it, shall we? This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death! My goal with this MacBook is to simply be able to access the internet, watch a few YouTube videos, and perhaps do some basic word processing. As of right now, I'm unable to do so with the operating system that's on this laptop in any real capacity due to the age of the OS. So we're going to grab Linux Mint here shortly after we swap out the hard drive for a solid state drive. First, we need to remove the eight screws on the back. Following that, we're going to remove the safety bar that is helping hold the hard drive in place. I'm going to remove the data and power connection cable from the hard drive and set the hard drive aside for the moment. In reality, I should probably take this opportunity to blow the dust out of this thing, but unfortunately, I don't have any compressed air at the moment. So after we attach this new solid state drive and replace the bar that helps hold the drive in place, I'm going to toss the bottom panel back on, and then we're going to hop on over to our other screen where we're going to snag ourselves Linux Mint. All right, so first up, we're going to um, grab a Linux Mint, so you just go to Google, slam in Linux Mint, I'm going to go to Downloads, or Download, and I want the XFCE edition because it's the most lightweight edition here for Linux Mint. Download that. Um, you'll go down here to a mirror site and download from your selected mirror. Um, what I used was Clarkson University. We already have this downloaded, so we're gonna jump over to the next thing we need to do. Okay, so now that we have our Linux Mint, we're gonna grab Rufus. And so this uh, looks extremely sketchy. I feel like every time I come here, it's surprisingly fine, um, but you do need to um, go down past all the random ads that are just uh, there that uh, I think are maybe meant to confuse you, but I'm not entirely sure. We are using a Windows um, X64 base processor. So I'm going to grab this one. Um, most of you, I would imagine, are on X64, but just in case, there's also X86 and Windows ARM. Click the X, and then um, up here, Rufus should be downloaded. So we're gonna grab that, we're gonna run it. And do you want Rufus to check app updates online? I'm gonna say no, why is that? And then it already has my, um, my drive here that I plan on using. And in, that case, in this case, it's the G drive, which is my flash drive. And I'm gonna select the ISO I want, which is Linux Mint, which I downloaded yesterday. Click on that, click open. And then down here, um, all we have to do is click start. It's going to have a few pop-ups. Please make sure to read those. And then also please note that anything on the flash drive, any data that's still on there, it's gonna be gone. So we'll come back to this in a few minutes. Okay, so we have Rufus downloaded onto our flash drive. We have our laptop that probably uh, should hopefully turn on here. Still has some crumbs on it back from the good old days. Let's uh, get our flash drive plugged in here and we will power this thing on. And we do have power. Okay, so um, I don't know how this is gonna show up here. Let's see if I can get the camera in a better position here. And can we eliminate that glare? There we go. Okay, so what we need to do is um, we're just gonna go ahead and do a straight install, which should be this right, this top one right here. Uh, you can navigate, uh, or I'm navigating with my uh, arrow buttons. So, we'll go ahead and let this think for a while, and we will pick it back up here in a minute. 
Okay, we are progressing here. Basically, we just had to sit here for a while. Um, usually with fresh installs of, I, um, of like an iOS file, I have noticed that it does take a while. So we'll, uh, we'll continue to sit here and um, let this continue its ins installation here on this laptop. Okay, we are here with Linux Mint on this laptop. Um, fingerprints and all on the screen. So um, let's just do a little exploring here. We don't have Wi-Fi currently set up, so let's see if we can do that. So down here, right-hand corner, um, there's a network button. We're just gonna go ahead and click. And um, I will log into my um, network here. Unfortunately, it's not, sorry my dog barks, but uh, I do wish uh, that was the, that was the case, so. Okay, we are now connected to internet. Um, up here you can see, um, I still have my, um, my flash drive. That's, that's what's showing up here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to eject that. I don't know if the right click is gonna work on this. Oh, it, okay, so that natively, natively does work. Which, let's see here. Future Nick here. Um, yeah, so that icon that I'm trying to um, eject up in whatever corner this screen relates to the screen that we're probably now looking at. Yeah, I don't wanna do that, I'm an idiot. Um, that button, actually, I need to click that, and that will actually install Linux Mint for us. Actually, I don't have footage of it because I didn't think to actually record it for whatever reason. So, back to our regular programming, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm gonna just leave that in there for now until I can, uh, until I get a little more used to this operating system. Um, but we now have Linux Mint downloaded on here. We have a uh, Wi-Fi connection down here in the corner. Ba uh, we have battery health, we have volume, we have um, almost the correct uh, time and date. Um, real close right over here. But uh, we'll, uh, I'm gonna see if I can throw the capture card on this and we're gonna go go that direction from here on. All right, so now with the capture card hooked up, we can see what the heck's going on here a little bit better. There's a welcome screen that is really great at holding your hand and taking you through some of the ins and outs of Linux if you're completely new. Our hand holding has some easy to read documentation, a help portal, and if you really get into it, there's even a contribution tab. In my not so humble opinion, it's already a smoother experience than running Windows on my gaming computer. It comes with, for free, unlike Windows, an office suite that has word processing, a spreadsheet, and a knockoff PowerPoint type thingy. And all in our basic software. You know, the things that Windows used to give us back in the day. We also come with the VLC media player and a camera that, for whatever reason, looks terrible. I'm guessing because I dropped this MacBook back in the day. Oh yeah, look how great that looks, everyone. So I've 100% made this usable again, which is awesome. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to do any gaming on it with any modern games. But I can now use this old piece of technology that I wasn't able to use before, which I'm super excited about. So make sure to subscribe here on YouTube, drop a comment, drop a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Follow me over on Twitch, link in the video description, where I'm live most Friday and Saturday evenings. We'll see you there.